live from Waterloo, Iowa, the lovely Miss Rocky and Shavita, who tend to five years of positivity from a North End perspective, are here to present what's making us all look good, with a whole lot of boom and a whole lot of chocolate. Cause you know what time it is. Boom, boom shakalaka! Alright. <laughs> Yay! Alright, studio audience, let's do it again. You know what time it is. Boom, boom shakalaka! Alright. All right. Thank you so much for joining yes. us today. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Miss Rocky and Shaviva North End Update Live. Because there's always something good happening on the North End. And everywhere else. And if y'all didn't know, now you know. You are watching the best show on the internet. Yes. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Stick to it because yeah. we're doing five years now, Shaviva, of positivity yeah. from a North End perspective. And of we course. hope that you like joining us today. Mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure that you know that there's always something good happening on the North End. Yes. And, and everyone else. <laughs> right. We got a great show coming okay. up today. We got Beauty Fits, the one and only Beauty Fits. You've seen her doing all her exercise classes and stuff. She's going to yes. be here today. Okay, and Tiani Carrasco. Um, they're both from Cedar Valley Fashion Arts and Culture Expo, and they're going to be talking about the big super duper event tomorrow going yes. on at Young Arena. Don't even yeah. ask because you already know. It's the Cedar Valley Arts and Culture Expo Expedition Extravaganza. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're doing the red carpet. For sure. Shout out yes. to Ricky Thomas, Yay. Kelly Conrad, hey, Yukubu Agbesi, Rosie Daniel, Bob Niemeyer, Peggy Pass Passon. That's French. Okay. I, she's my friend, yes. Charles Charles Dosdale, Renee Weston Smart, and be sure to like our North End Update page as soon as you can um, because, you know, like we said, there's always something good, and you might miss it if you don't like our page. There you go. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please go to North End Update and pick the one that says... Boom, Boom shakalaka. shakalaka. You know <laughs> okay. it. We're having too much fun because it's Friday. Y'all have worked all week. You're here to see our great show. We have, Tiani has a gift that we're going to give her today. We're going to act like it's just something she don't know nothing about because okay. she never came to pick it up. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if she wants your print or not, but we've got that, and we're going to congratulate her on uh, winning that last week, Shaviva. Okay. And for Give It Air, we're going to be wrapping it up with talking about Juneteenth. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We unapologetically have celebrated all month long. That's right. And the month is not over yet. It's not over because yeah. um, tonight we're going to the movies. Oh, that's right. To, that's to wind right. things up. News mm -hmm. flash, birthday people, stick around because we got a quartet today. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to be singing their very, very best, and Nate's going to carry us through the bass. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. We know that you would like to be one of our sustaining collaborators, like the Ferguson team and Jesse Cosby Neighborhood Center. So please inbox us to find out the benefits of sponsorship that make us all look good. That's right. You can make us all look good by sponsoring our show and help us to pay Nate. He needs a raise, too, by the way. So if you want a great way to get your business out there and help Nate out, give us a call. Email us at northendupdate at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And our show is brought to you in part by a grant from the Community Foundation, the Waterloo Community Foundation, mm -hmm. and our supporting, sustaining collaborators. Yes, look at us getting that check they gave us. Should be right. so. And we're going to have them on the show here real soon. Yes, that'll be yes. great. Yes, our collaborators, the Ferguson team and the Jesse Cosby Neighborhood Center. Yay! Mm -hmm. Our center. We love it. It's a it's a jewel right here in Waterloo. Mm -hmm. And on that note, with the community foundation, you know, we recently shared an art an, uh, an a post uh, to say thank you to Tom Wickersham. Oh, did you see right. that? Yeah, I did see that. And yeah. they said that this man transformed the department. And he's moving on to other things. So thank you to Tom and everybody because it does. It takes a whole community to get things like that off the ground sometimes all right okay um, all right you can visit our page to find more things on our um sustaining collaborators and now i think we got nate to do the so 
Soul, Soul Town. Town. And we're just going to focus on Nate right now, and then we're going to introduce our guest when he gets finished with the Soul Town. So I have a poem that I was actually just reading um, a day or two ago. A poem? Yeah, from, so it's one of the creators, or a poet from the Waterloo Writing Project. Oh, we yeah. love the Writing Project. Uh, Sabor Mohammed. Or oh, okay, yeah. Maybe y'all have heard the name? Yes. Okay. Roman son. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he titled it, What People Fail to Recognize Is. And I'm going to just read this whole thing because I really like oh, this. Oh, honey, one. read. So. <laughs> Remember I told you about that? Read. Oh, yeah. <laughs> read, baby. So <laughs> this is his poem. So what people fail to recognize is doubt was never internalized in our youth. The truth being we let factors outside of our control take control until you're convinced to play a role that doesn't suit you. Now we have college kids taking college in instead of knowledge in to the point where we confuse common sense with consciousness. Who is honest nowadays because lying gets you farther than the truth does. The lie is perceived as honesty until honestly. You will fight God to make it back home like Odysseus in the Odyssey. I'm placed inside a generation where everyone swears they are super aware of what's going on when they don't know SHIT. Ooh. It kills me to see that youngins believe that life is nothing more than living and dying. The sad thing mm -hmm. is I can't say I disagree. Though to a pedigree I feel no guarantee that all life will truly live. What people fail to recognize is our power lies within the realization of self. You can be the most wise but disguise yourself as ignorant to the world because you refuse to compromise. To lose identity to the world feeling structured. To gain fake love instead of being real gratitude unlike any other. It wouldn't be wise to kill a world to save yourself. Though if the world is dying out mm -hmm. trying to survive, then why would you play yourself? Placing self-hatred upon what you work for since you were four. You wanted to explore since walking out the front door. Until you travel a meaningless journey and ask, what is this done for? Though think because we are not God, we are like gods. And like God, we can build, create, and destroy like gods. So find purpose in what you see. What people fail to recognize is following a different path doesn't make you ignorant. It makes you unique. Mm. So I'm just going to let that sit. I really like that one. It just, yeah. a lot of, you know, things he was hinting at in each line or stanza. Is that what they call it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just like each other bars. own little subtle. Dropping bars. Yeah. <laughs> you know, subtle meanings that I was just like, okay, I really feel this one. So I just wanted mm. to share that with everyone, share that with y'all. And I just really like this one. So shout out to Sabor Muhammad for making yeah. this. And he, yes, right. That's what we okay. do, right? Yeah. For, for dope bars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. That's just another reason for you to subscribe to the Soul Town because the virtual community isn't just nationwide. It's worldwide. Okay. Get your print copy at Earth's Beauty Supply. Is this the new one? Yes. Okay, we don't have the new 704 one. Franklin yeah. and SoulTownMagazine.com. Right, this is the newer yes. one. It's got a purple um, cover on it. But yeah, get your copy today. You can call Chillin' too. That's right. Right. Well, as you can see, we've had our, our set graced with beauty. More, oh, beauty. I mean, beauty. That's right. <laughs> and <laughs> beauty. <laughs> So welcome to Beauty and Tiani. Thank, Thank you. you so much yes. for joining us. Thank mm -hmm. you for having us. Yes. Um, and you guys, we're going to ask you some questions because everybody wants to know how this collaboration works. And yes. it's basically three of you, right? And yes. Joy Salas is involved somehow, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're going to get to all that. But we're going to go ahead and move on to our segment called Give It Air. And I'm hoping that our viewers can identify and um, hopefully relate to this. We're, since we're in Juneteenth, we're, we're in Juneteenth. We're going to call the whole month Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Okay. Just like sometimes people celebrate their birthday all, all month long. Month. That's right. Yeah. And last week, I kind of felt bad because we didn't really um, talk a lot about Juneteenth. We just kind of um, skimmed over it a little bit. So um, for our viewers to know that... Uh, enslaved people got official notification in Texas on June 19th, 1865. Right, Shaviva? Mm -hmm. And I can't remember the general's name, but um, 
So then uh, it was two years late by the time the enslaved people in Texas got the notification. So you can imagine the celebration. Yep. See, and it's important to remember that not only is it, was it a celebration, but um, that came on the heels of some really mm. hard, rough, tough times. And the aftermath in a lot of instances was um, just sort of um, broke your heart. There's a little bit of a um, something that was listed in a paper because after freedom, there were people they were trying to find their relatives. Right. Okay, and right. someone posted um, in a newspaper information wanted of my husband and son. We parted at Richmond, Virginia, in 1860. My son's name is James Monroe Holmes. My husband's name was Frank Holmes. My son was sold in Richmond, Virginia. I don't know where they carried him to. My husband was not sold. I left him in Richmond, Virginia, and I and five children, Henry, Gabriel, Charles, Dortha, and Jacob, were sold to a trader who lived in Texas. I am now old and don't think that I shall be here long and would like to see them before I die. So now just think about that as far as something, you have your freedom finally, and so now your task is to try and see can you reconnect with your family and get some of those things, not only that were lost, or acquire and do some things that you've never had, maybe in your entire lifetime. So, like I said, it's it's cause for celebration, but it's also cause for reflection. Right, know? reflection. And one thing we don't want is um, marketing. You know, where people are taking advantage of the holiday and marketing it in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. We have some comments, Nate. Yeah, uh, quite a few. We got Shirley J. Houghton. Oh, Shirley. Hey, Shirley. Hey. Saying, hey, beautiful ladies. Hey, beautiful lady. We got Carol Taylor Stanford Conway. Oh, Carol, our Saying favorite. some birthday wishes, saying happy birthday to everyone. Awesome. Right. Heather Robinson had asked, where are you now? Where are we now? We are sitting in my backyard. Okay. And it's springtime in June. That's right. No bugs. <laughs> no bugs. <laughs> no, no eat. Right. But um, back to our subject, yeah, for her to lose her son in 1860, we parted in Richmond, Virginia. Um, I'm just going to, because I always like to end on a good note, I'm going to say that in 1866, the very first Juneteenth, they got together and celebrated. I'm guessing that, I, Your you lips know, to God's my ear. lips to God's ear, that's and right. it's history now, but that would be my prayer, because that's some rough, rough stuff to go through, taken away from your family, and so um, in 1866 was the first year to, that Juneteenth was celebrated. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to give, did you guys want to comment on that at all? Do you have anything to say? I do not. Know. Okay, I know. It's it's not, you know, our Give It Air segments sometimes are kind of gut-wrenching, really. Yeah, right. And and there are things that um, don't get talked about a lot. So sometimes we, since we have our little tiny itsy-bitsy platform, we like to just give it a little air, Shaviva. Yeah, because when you think about, um, like, Juneteenth, I think we were talking about this earlier, I'd rather for that to be a solemn thing that people remember as opposed to, oh, Let's get the beer in the red, black, and green can. Okay. You know, that kind of right. stuff. Nah, that's not what we want. <laughs> that's right. Okay. All right. Sometimes air is the best, in, or what, exposure, exposure is the best that's disinfectant. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we got some great questions for our guests. Who should we start with? We going to eeny, meeny, miny, mo? No. Let's start with Tiani. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, just pick one. Okay. All right. There you go. Just die right in. Um, both of you ladies, thank you so much for being with us. Um, talk about uh, what is it that made you all first decide to do this fashion show in the first place. Okay, um, so this is the Cedar Valley Fashion, Art, and Culture Expo's ninth year of doing this. Wow, so, I didn't realize it was Absolutely. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my first year coming on with the team. Um, Joyce Alice originally put this together with a group of people, and, and that group of people have kind of changed throughout the years. Mm. Um, but right now we were kind of in a pivotal point where it's like maybe she ha her hands are full, right? She's I got a lot going so. on. I would say so, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so... Um, we really wanted to be a part of the Juneteenth celebration. Um, and so with it being in the last the last weekend of June, um, Joyce, hands are tied. So that left me, Brittany, and Beauty to kind of pull things together and put on a good show. Um, I've done fashion shows for about a decade now. So yes, this and is you're something a beautiful I'm really model. Into. We've Thank seen you. some of your 
some of your photos. Thank and, you. And, we, and when we did our Friday runway, you modeled for us, too. I but, did, yes. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you. So it was just something I was really happy to be a part of. I was happy that they asked me to be involved in it. And so it's going really good for the first year. Great. So now, Beauty, you've been with how long? The, the entire run? Yeah, or? so okay. this is actually my ninth year. Wow. wow. Yeah, okay. I started out with when they were doing shows back at you and I. Um, that's actually how me and Joy connected. I didn't know her prior to this, and she asked me to come and um, help her because I had did a couple shows at you and I prior, um, and then it's this history ever since. So, so you the OG. Right. Yeah. She okay. the OG. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love that. And so how, so you met Joy at you and I, yes. and then how did you guys would collaborate with Brittany or have you always known each other or? Um, well, Brittany came on, this is Brittany's second year. She came on actually as an intern when she was still in school last year oh. um, with a tap. And so it was a, it was a, a glue. So she stuck with us. And then again, Joy taking on many things, we needed one more person. And we were like, Tiani. Tiani, perfect fit. yes, oh, okay. perfect fit. Mm-hmm. How many models do you all have? Um, for this show, we are looking at about 30. Ooh. Now, we do want to wow. make it a point to say that sometimes things happen last minute, sure. so we may not end up with 30 tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know health concerns and things like that come oh, up sure. often. Um, but right now, we are sitting at 30, and hopefully will be tomorrow as well. Okay. Um, and you all always have a really diverse yes. uh, group of models you know, all all shapes, sizes, heights, mm-hmm. this kind of thing. Uh, how do you select your models? Or do they um, come to you? So we do a model call. Um, mm-hmm. So every year we kind of put flyers on Facebook, word of mouth, and then we do have a select people that have been modeling with us from the beginning. So we kind of pull on them too and say, hey, do you have friends? So we really kind of do um, host model calls at the library or wherever um, to get people out. We've also done some like searching. We know that uh, as we season, that maybe we're not what's hip, and so we try to find like the high school group, the um, the group that really is involved in fashion and really has a passion for it. Um, mm, and so that nice. is easy to kind of detour who's going to do what when it comes to modeling and fashion shows. Right, mm. and I suppose that's a great inspiration for young people to you know that are aspiring to do fashion and design. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, do you, how did you come across the entertainment? I mean, you have this entertainment that's coming, or are they hosts? Who are the hosts? I think uh, I saw some so really good-looking men. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell so, us about them. <laughs> so, it's, um, so we have Blair Christian. This is, I think, her fourth or fifth year back hosting. So she's hosted with us um, oh. in the past. I oh. just never oh. seen her. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. And then this year we were like, okay, we need somebody that's just going to be a shock value. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> and who's the shock value? Ryan Henry. So oh. He is, is he the one that made the video? Yes. yes oh, he is. yeah. <laughs> He's a shock value, I would say. Yeah, yes. so Ryan Henry, he is, um, most people may know him from um, Black Ink Chicago, Nine Mad. Okay. So he's a, ta- a well-known tattoo artist out of Chicago. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you knew of him because you're from Chicago or somebody. That's not why I knew of him. I felt, oh. I said, I am like behind the eight ball right here. I know this man is somebody. He got some kind of juice. Let me look and see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's okay. I do know, I have heard of Black Ink, the Black Ink crew. Right. So, mm-hmm. Okay, and I know, Tiani, and we're going to get back to the uh, fashion show, but I just want you ladies to kind of tell everybody who you are and what I know you've worked with Amani. Right. Um, what else do you guys do? Uh, this is the big thing that we're talking about today. But right. What is your day job, per se? Okay. <laughs> so, um, my day job, I do work for Amani Community Services. We are a sexual assault and domestic violence agency that's specific to African Americans. Um, right now I'm in Waterloo I'm in prevention Uh, my focus is African American middle school boys so I am talking to coaches and athletic directors and making sure that when they are teaching sports they are teaching more than that they are Mm. talking about consent and keeping your hands to yourself and digital respect Um, so that's something I found and am super passionate about Um, I'm very passionate about protecting the black woman um, and so that is part of the reason why I stepped into my role and part of the reason why I like what I do as far as the fashion world because I can also beautify women and put sure. women in the spotlight. And so this is 
the industry Wonderful. for me, absolutely. Okay. Great. So you're just living your dream, it sounds like. I am right I now, mean, and I'm right? loving it. Yeah, okay. right. absolutely. That's what yeah. you want. You find your right. niche in Waterloo, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. And beauty, well, you want to tell us a little um, bit yeah, about what so you do? my day job, I am actually the um, on-site wellness coordinator for the Waterloo Schools. Oh. Um, so my, my focus is getting the employees in shape, teaching about um, health and well-being, um, mental health, physical health, things of that nature. And then outside of that, which you guys touched on, um, I, oh, am, yes. I am a fitness coach. Um, so I teach fitness classes um, during the week, and then I also have a brand that I'm launching. Um, you may have seen some of the shirts. Um, one of my sayings is, uh, be real, not perfect. And then this new one that I have is um, I'm dope in real life. Just being an advocate of uh, advocate of women, just showing up as themselves, mm-hmm. um, being their authentic selves, and just really rooting for themselves and having that confidence. So. Mm-hmm. That is really, I mean, that is really awesome. I mean, because that being somebody different than who you are is it seems like there's sometimes too much focus on that. So, so yes. much Dope in focus. real, I'm dope in real life. Dope I like that. Life, not just on social media. Exactly, <laughs> dope in real life. I love it. And what is it? Real, not perfect. Real, not perfect. Love it. it. Looks like we have some comments. Yeah, so um, kind of going back a little bit, um, Philip Banks had said a great air segment. Oh, hey, hey. thank you. Shirley thank J. You. Houghton had also mentioned that. That breaks my heart. I pray she can somehow, some way, make the connection to her family. Mm, all right, right. Then, she did, Shirley. They got together on Juneteenth, baby. They had a party. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I'm telling yeah. you. That's right. And then Marcia Jones said, great job, team. Mm, all right. Yeah, right. Marcy is part of the part of our team as well. Right. You guys really speaking the dope stuff, you know. You guys have a dope board, right? Okay. <laughs> I mean, really who do. who all is who do you work with besides oh you did mention all of the people that are involved mm-hmm. with yes, that. So it's a umbra so it's an umbrella. Okay, let's it's talk about that. It's, a, it's got... a big umbrella, yes. So of course everyone knows Joy. Yes, um, Joy. All of this was started by Joy. Um, and then she's over all of it and then it's kind of three different things so it's there um or two so sorry so there's the expo which consists of myself Tiani, and Brittany um and then of course we're a team so everybody helps out so sometimes that may include Kristen Cruz sometimes that includes sure Marcy, and, yeah we talked then, to her last yep, year and then Joy try to help out as much as she can and then there's the shift part mm. which Kristen Pretty is over that and then if we need to help with her with that as well we kind of step in so it's the umbrella and we what uh, like we say all the time you know waterloo is in great hands i mean the future is Mm -hmm. looking bright for young people so those of you who get a bad vibe from waterloo or listen to all the bad news you need to tune into our show because we talk about the good stuff that happens around town that's right you're just not looking close enough i have one more question too and that is okay the theme the oh the theme yes okay i'm I in my mind that that evokes um well, of course fashion and you know the best of the best and mm-hmm. out there sort of things talk about talk about that a little How bit How did you decide to make it so good I mean so <laughs> met <laughs> Okay yeah. um so this year we wanted to do things a little bit differently um they ha- we I've been on both sides of this now and so when when we were able to to bring together the team that we have now we really looked at the expo and really wanted to tap into the other arts Um, we wanted to tap into the fashion industry and the kids that are interested in that but we also wanted to give designers that are hand sewing an opportunity to step Mm -hmm. on the runway Mm -hmm. so this time we were able to get some hand sewers and some people that that are designing that's right we've been able to get some people that that um are designing dresses gowns tuxes things of that sort and put them on the runway so this year was just a little bit different we wanted to see if we could maybe turn it a little bit classier um, maybe a little bit of an elegant type of thing and it doesn't have to stay like this Um, it's been nine years and I think if every year we can kind of upgrade Mm. that would be uh, really good for us so what kind of things can we expect to see yes tell us that well um, just a little tease don't give it all I do want to um, plug because she is Waterloo one of our designers Shade Moore Um, Okay. Her line is Couture Mubalti, 
and oh. she goes outside the box. So we have like long trains on the oh, stage. Oh my like, goodness. Um, we have like, she pretty much went all out. So we can expect like just some out of the box type of stuff. Yeah. Wow. And have you had rehearsals? We, we've done some dress yes. fittings and things of that sort. We, this year we kind of uh, let up the reins and tried to let the designers connect with the models on their own time. More than anything, it's really hard to connect with 50 different people's schedules. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> yes. yes. And so, so yeah. if we can give that and handle that, you know, to them so that they can get together on their own time, then things are going great. I've been able to attend two fittings okay. for designers, um, so that is going well. I'm really excited about it. I, I think so it's going to be great. Excited. We're super excited. Yeah. Now, y'all going to have to tell us what to do because we don't know what we're doing. We, we are interviewing people on the red carpet, yes. just the people that come. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So you, we'll have you stationed at the front once people buy tickets and come in. You know, people like to take pictures at a backdrop. Okay. They like mm -hmm. to walk on the runway. We could do little interview styles. You all can go live. We'll have a photographer mm -hmm. there okay. that can take some pictures at the runway. So pretty much you're doing what you what always you do. do. Yeah. Okay. Great interviewing, okay. making us all look sounds good. Fun. Right? Sounds it fun. sounds so much yeah. fun. Sounds like a ball. Mm -hmm. A gala. A gala. Yes. So, so okay. what time do people need to be there? Yes, tell Doors us how to get tickets. open at 4 p.m. So oh. we have vendors, of course. So you come shop before, you know, the show starts. Pre-show starts at 4.30. Okay. So our plan is to be prompt. Pre-show starts at 4.30 and the show starts at 5. So oh. you don't want to miss anything. Right. I suggest getting there at 4 o'clock. All, right. All right. And then it's going, how long would you say it will last? Do you know? Or what? what is it? Just a, the fashion show? And there's then... fashion show. There's poetry. Mm. There's music. There's artwork. Um, so from 5 to roughly 6.30 or 7 will be showtime, but then we'll have time beforehand um, for vendors and things of that sort, and then again afterwards. Awesome. Well, right. listen, yes. everybody get your tickets. Can they buy tickets at the door? They can buy tickets at the door. They do go up $5. Okay. So I would in, um, just encourage you to get your tickets today before midnight. That's oh. when the, the sale goes off. Okay. So we have an Eventbrite link somewhere on there. Maybe if not, maybe we can put that in the comments. Yes, put that okay. in the comments today. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing all this with us. And make sure you watch on Saturday night starting at 4 o'clock. We'll be there and, mm -hmm. and we'll have everything live for you. But don't let that be a reason not to be there yeah. in person. Oh, that's right. Yes. Right. All right, birthday people. We know you've been waiting and we've got some great birthday people today, that, Shavita. That's right. We Every Friday we've every got some Friday. good birthday people. And yes. we're going to start right on off with our friend Pat Kenny. Happy, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Day. Laura Nash, yes. Chris Jones, hey Chris, Heather Robinson, Heather, yes, and Ramirez Detrell. Oh, Happy Ramirez, yes, yeah, Ramirez, yes. We had him on our show. Yes, yes. Matt Crawford Jr. Ma Matt Crawford, okay. Matt Crawford Jr. <laughs> Lenny Center, Cassandra Hart, our first, first lady, lady. Yes. Cassandra, yes, and Gail Wright. That's Dominique's mother. I believe, and yes. Leandra, Leandra Outlaw. Outlaw. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you would agree. It couldn't fit more perfectly <laughs> than to have a world party. On the day you came to be, happy birthday to you. Come on, Nate. Nate happy, birthday <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! All right, beauty. All you gotta cool do is sing loud, even if you can't sing good. That's right. Comments, right. Nate. Yeah, I just wanted to share this one. Shirley J. Houghton had said, "Ladies, I'm truly listening, but I'm also noticing that there is not a bug nowhere. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Not even a gnat fly across Wait, the screen. No, nope. still should be. I still bug no." <laughs> We're not doing no oh, sweating up in here, none of that stuff. Right, right. Yes. It's TV magic. We're in, in City Hall production studio, mm -hmm. the um, public access studio. Fabulous for those green screen. We can go everywhere. We're going to Mars next week. Hey, yeah. now we're floating. Yeah, we got Agnes back there doing our magic for TV. And Ed's out here. We got Nate, the best crew, Shaviva. Yes, yes. Yeah. Gotta give him a hand. Right. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yes. Nate. 
You're not bored about this show, are you? It looked like when we got ready to sing Happy Birthday, you were falling asleep over there. Oh, no, I was reading okay. that comment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just I thought just, it was fun. We're trying to keep it live, keep okay. it real, but not, what is it? Keep it be dope, real. but real. And be real, it. not perfect. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All of that. Right. Well, it's been another great show. Yes, absolutely. Um, really looking forward to the event tomorrow. Mm. And we thank you all so much for sharing the information about it. Yes. And I'm just excited. I, I am put too. on my outfit and yes. show up. Yes. And we hope show you guys show, out. That's show right. up and right. show out. I got two dresses to choose from. I'm gonna be trying them on all day and night. <laughs> but you can't do a you can't do a change. Right. Okay. Okay. Change. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. Well, we'll have to consider. Shout out to all the people we saw yesterday. Thank you so much for everybody doing what makes them awesome and living their dream like Tiani, right? Yes. And beauty. Because it makes us all look good. Yes, it does. <laughs> all right. All right. See you next See time. See you next time, folks. Thank you.